Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is, I'm actually recording this right now before even episode two, I think, of my Let's Play of Man of Medan has released. Um, you know, I said like, hey, like this and comment if you enjoy this content. Well, apparently I didn't really care, mostly because I wanted to play Little Hope. So I'm going to record it and I'm gonna post it. And if you enjoy it, then good for you. If you don't, well then you don't have to watch it. But hello, we're back with the second game in the Dark Pictures anthology called Little Hope. And now here's the thing. I feel like pretty early on, there were like some good jump scares in like Man of, Man of Medan, but I kind of figured out the psychological piece of the psychological horror that was going on, which kind of made it a little less scary. Now, they showed like a very, very brief preview at the end of Man of Medan for Little Hope. And this one does look supernatural, like anything can happen. I truly don't know anything about this game at all. Um, so this will be interesting. I'm very excited to play this. We see we've got we've got the curator here to guide us along this tour, this journey. And then I've also got I've also got the doge with me, but like here's the thing. She's already hiding her head behind the pillow. So like if that's if that's not an omen for how this is gonna go, I don't know what is. Um, so yeah. So once again, just a reminder, if you enjoy watching these Let's Plays, and these kind of like watching me play these uh, scary games, then make sure to drop a like. It does help out with the engagement on the channel. And make sure to leave a comment. And if you don't have anything really to comment, just drop your favorite emoji down in the comments below. Because once again, your engagement is free and it really helps out the channel. And I've got pop-ups coming up on the screen. So we're gonna get started here in a second. I have uh, PlayStation Access inspired me with this one. Uh, I have uh, equipped a heart rate monitor, which is at the top of the screen so that um, you guys will know if I'm getting a little freaked out, if I'm not showing it. Um, I don't know, we'll just see. We'll see how how high this game makes my heart rate get. Hopefully not too high. I don't wanna die today, but you know, we'll see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. All right, here we go. I think this, this seemed like it was like, well, <laughs> the music is clutch. It seemed like it was very like campy, like there was like a camp thing going on. I don't know if it's like supposed to be a uh, a roadside diner in present day, which I think was 2020. I think this came out in 2020. Man, they did such a good job on this. This, is, this game just looks so good. I'm so excited for this House of Ashes and then The Quarry, which is uh, the newest game by Supermassive Games. It was just released, I think, like a week or so ago. Um, I'm very excited for to play this game and those those two games all by Supermassive Games. And if you haven't played, unfortunately, I can't really do a Let's Play of Until Dawn because I've already played it and it's just the reaction wouldn't be genuine. But Until Dawn is a phenomenal game. Uh, so like definitely would recommend Until Dawn. It's so much fun if you're into like either horror, these kinds of like story driven games where you, you make, you know, big choices in visceral combat, except no visceral combat. And that was a Mass Effect quote if you don't get it. All right, so we're on a bus. Is this like a prison bus? Is this like a, we're going to camp bus? Does it just a school bus driving out to the middle of nowhere? I don't know. You decide. Put it in the comments. What kind of a bus is this today? All right. <laughs> Guy looks a little, look at, you can see his pores. You can see the pores on his face. That's super cool. Oh. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. That's unfortunate. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. This okay, seems fishy. You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. Is I Little Hope a town? Folks to where they need to be. Oh, it's just a bus I bus. A short delay will trouble them too much. So this is just just, just a standard bus. Okay, hope. good to know. Adds almost no time to your journey. This seems very weird. 
but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to be riding on this bus in this ambiance, personally. Just me. Something's up with this bus driver. I don't like it. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? It's shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? No! There's... that's... You do hate to see it. Just a random child just standing in the road. Bearing updated, I didn't even do anything. No button prompts. Okay, creepy house. Not like a super creepy house. Just like your standard farmhouse. I like it. Oh, Stop but it, creepy you girl. It when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart. I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory. You've been saying that for years. I'm more This doesn't look very Megan. present day. Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after ten beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? This is not present Single day. Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real oh, low flow. shoot. Don't you get how tough you can't the say that. one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. Dang, this guy's kind of an asshole. Oh yeah, he's definitely drunk too. Not tonight. No way. And he's gonna have more. Ah, what a good solution. Top top notch choices there. What was his name? I can't remember. Was it David? I wasn't even paying attention because I James. His name was James. The Clark Daniel family Blake. home in Massachusetts. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? They really killed it with like all of these faces. Oh, she about to say, why did she change my channel? Hey, Bigfoot, oh. mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Dang. Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable. 
like a record that keeps playing. And so all, all of these kids are adopted. Dennis, Did I gather that correctly? Ten million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> is it though? I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at, being <laughs> really Dennis. What a surprise. Something messed up's about to happen. Hey, Dennis. Hey. Not now, sis. I'm busy. Uh -oh. that, that, he's about to fall. The ladder's going down. <gasps> yep. Hey, quit acting crazy. Don't tell me she's about to just start killing her family. Like, let's not. No, don't love that. No. Quit, do, do not do that. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. I got a bad feeling about her. Excuse me. Excuse me. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sound more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's it's the Knight little in Shining Armor? Way? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. Right, sure. Like you're the law around here. Okay. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. You know how this game works. Dang. They said present. I'm very confused about how they're classifying present. Unless I missed a timestamp somewhere. Because this is super not present day. Oh, the button may have changed to triangle to keep calm? They really want you to screw this up. I hate that. They really want you to screw that up. Can you like grab him? Oh no. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. You're being checked on it. Ten years checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. You're an asshole, bro. Like, straight up. Hold on. Let's investigate really quick. We can always cut it out if there's nothing around here to see, but we got to see the things there are to see. There's something okay, so this was the book that was in Man of Medan. From this madhouse. Interesting. I'm gonna have to see like what's up with that book, or if there's that's gotta be some sort of Easter egg, because that was the same book that uh Julia had in Man of Medan. The New England Witch Trials. Okay, so I'm assuming this is gonna be this game's gonna be about witchcraft. I would say that's fair to guess. Door locked. Good to know. Good to know. What else we got? 
Megan Clark. Uh, a lot of tardy and absent days. And, ooh, not super wow. good grades. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Oof. Music, I guess she kind of does okay. But, like, on the whole, not, not doing super great in the school department. Oh. Son of a bitch clock. Okay. Son of a bitch clock. I don't think that's how clocks are made, but you know what? You believe whatever you gotta believe, bud. See, the front door wants to be unlocked now. Or open. Is it locked too? Bro, like, it's not locked from the outside. If it's locked, you could unlock it. Let's be clear on that. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. It's Anthony. Is that her boyfriend? Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. What's this little girl gonna do? You could be right about my family. Who's she talking to? I think so too. Nope, stop. What the Tanya? What's was going on? that? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. Don't like this. I'll let you back in. Go Wait, easy excuse on Megan. Hold on. It's locked. Did no. It's it's a glass. It's glass. Just break glass. Shit, Megan. It's glass. You in there? Just elbow. Well. The kitchen's on fire. Are you fucking serious? No, it was a joke. Megan! Just break the window. Any of them. Dad? Well, Dad's oh. dead. Dad is <laughs> Oh my god, they're all incapacitated. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony, help! Jump. You gotta jump, lady. <laughs> Mom and dad are dead. Oh my god, she locked her in. Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! What's he going to do? Ring the doorbell. Maybe someone will let you in. Use the shovel. There was a shovel. Hit the window with the shovel. Thank you. Yeah, he's dead. She did. their two names? Are they both gonna make it or are they both dead too? Ooh. Are we gonna have to pick who to save? Who do I help? I'm gonna go help Megan. I'm gonna go help Megan. Tanya, hold on! I gotta get Megan out! Why is 
in the world did you not just like jump off the balcony? Well, just screw everything, huh? Every every single person just died. Okay. And now he blames himself, of course. What have you done? Mom, stop! Oh, well, he's dead now, too. Cool. Cool story. All right, here we go, curator. Let's do this. Hello again. Hello. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Yeah? Say so? <laughs> Disconcerting, no? <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The curator's such a cool the guy. Fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. All right, well, that what makes me feel a little has better. happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter the town of Little Hope. A confusing, oh? perhaps disturbing world. How cool. disturbing you love might disturbing depend words. on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. That's not we really seldom true. have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. I dig it, curator. I dig it. I appreciate you. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. You helped I'm me a little bit, Man of Medan. Fear, you see, not my place, apparently. You almost telling the curator what but to do. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. All right. You Thanks, have a Curator. Funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. <laughs> hell? I do enjoy a good funeral. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That we just found out what the name of the first episode's gonna be. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay, what can we do? calm down, breathe. 
There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What on earth is that? Not a clue.